Bangalore police have released CCTV footage of violence which took place during the protest against the amended Citizenship Act on the 19th of December. Remember, two people were killed in firing and a CID probe has been ordered by the state. Police say the footage clearly shows how they were people who had come prepared with the intention of being violent. Protesters can be seen pelting stones and tampering with CCTV cameras as well. Neha Hebale joining us on the phone line. So Neha, we are in fact looking at the footage right now. It does seem that the police has accessed this footage where you have miscreants with their faces covered, trying to tamper with CCTV cameras and uh, resorting to deliberate violence. Neha? Well, that's right, Afrida. You know what uh, these visuals are actually, you know, very, very clear evidence. This is TV footage shows how these protesters had actually, you know, come prepared all along. They brought with them, you know, heavy bricks, in fact, you know, or throw at the cops or to pelt at the cops. And apart from that, we're also seeing how, you know, these same miscreants are later even going on to, you know, tamper with the CCTV cameras, like you said, in order to ensure that, you know, later if at all a probe is ordered or if, you know, a post-mortem of this incident is done, then, of course, you know, in order to ensure that they do not get caught or their faces are not recognized on the camera, they really come prepared on the whole, um, you know, is uh, something that you could say. And more importantly, Afrida, you know, this is something that uh, the Mangaluru police has maintained that they've only fired in self-defense. Now, it is rather unfortunate, of course, what happened in that day, with two yes. people losing their lives in the firing. But clearly, of course, you know, now that the CCTV footage has been released, we'll have to wait and see what turn the uh, probe takes, the CID inquiry that's been ordered. Right. Okay, a CID inquiry has been ordered. The footage there uh, released by the Mangalore police. Remember, two people were killed in the 19th December protest. The police says that there were miscreants who deliberately re took recourse to violence and damaged public property. Thanks for joining us uh, with the inputs. Uh, Neha, stay with us. Let me go across to Tanima, uh, who's joining us from the news pit. So, Tanima, th you know, this again uh, is again, something to worry about. The fact that now there is visual evidence to indicate. We saw similar uh, videos uh, that you explained to us yesterday from around the Jamia Millia campus as well. Today, this video coming from uh, Mangalore, again going to show that there were mischief mongers, miscreants who infiltrated and, you know, took away the sanctity of the protests in a way. That's right. In fact, if we just firstly take a look at the visuals that we are getting over here. This, these are the latest visuals which we are getting from Mengaluru. This is, of course, visuals of the, the violence which took place over there. And remember, there were two people who actually lost their lives, unfortunately. It's suspected that they lost their lives in police firing. But these visuals that you, you can see are actually showing you how the protest turned violent. That was a visual of somebody breaking the CCTV camera. Even over here, you can see somebody who's going in. Their faces are covered. And... Uh, this is what you can see that they are trying to destroy evidence. They are attacking the CCTV camera. Uh, this is, of course, these are people who are aware of the local terrain, who are aware of where the cameras have in fact been placed. People actually going into private residences, trespassing, entering the house uh, premises in order to uh, deactivate the camera or to change the angle of the camera. That's what happened just there, as you saw. And this one actually attacking the CCTV camera in order to break it. So this, of course, clearly in a way shows how the protests turned violent, how there were anti-social elements who were part of this group of people who had come out on the streets and... Uh, uh, we are, of course, not saying that all of those people who were protesting had these uh, the, the elements there, but these are certain people who have been identified by the police who were clearly showing how they had certain intentions to use violence during uh, this particular protest, and which is exactly what is happening that you can see over here that CCTV cameras are being destroyed and also the other footage that we played right in the beginning for you where stone pelting was taking place, mm. where stones were being pelted by some of these people who were taking uh, part in these protests and those are of course visuals of the uh, cops being out on the streets as well in order to try and curb uh, the, the, uh, the violent, the people who were there of course resorting to violence. Absolutely. In that sense, police can now, of course, come out and say that there was a need for that kind of strong action. There was a need for use of force because a lot of these elements had infiltrated uh, into uh, democratic protests. Thanks, Danima, for giving us an understanding of the videos.